Hi, this is Trevor Blumino, and I'm CEO of Voodoo Robotics. Hey, check this out. I'm running an Excel spreadsheet over here, and I got some data put in over here, and it's generating a URL, and I'm going to hit an execute button. Look what happens. Over here, over my left shoulder, one of these tags lights up. We call those tags cloud display devices. And I'm going to explain to you uh, what we've developed here. Uh, we've integrated our cloud display devices uh, with the Microsoft uh, Office suite of tools. Uh, this Excel is an example of how we've done that. Um, uh, all of these tags are available, and you can uh, specify over here, you know, which tag you want. We have rows and columns, you know, columns vertical, rows horizontal. Uh, so, for example, we could go, let's see, and do, uh, uh, let's see, row two, column one. And instead of uh, a plain turn on, let's do a flash this time. And uh, let's set to Bobby's world. Let's change from scale to uh, Yankee Doodle. And uh, we'll change it to last for 20 seconds. You can see as we change these numbers, uh, this URL changes. And when we execute, of course, that tag lights up plays the tune. So what's the significance of this and uh, why is this important? Well, you know, we've got an array, a board over here of all these tags and it looks kind of corny and why would you ever use something like that? Well, really what we're doing is we're representing a warehouse or a storage area for manufacturing or something like that. And we're showing you how you can leverage IoT devices for your existing uh, uh, warehouse. Uh, so let me just continue. I'll show you one other thing here, which I think may be important. Let's change this instead of flash to static now. Let's change to static and we'll put, uh, for example, uh, let's put a SKU number here. Let's say SKU uh, 1001, 1001, and then we'll put um, quantity 500. Okay. And by the way, when you do static, notice that uh, this URL gets much shorter, and in fact, the tune and the seconds, uh, you know, are irrelevant. And we'll set that. Let's say for, let's do row one. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, column one. Uh, um, on row three, column. Oh, I'm sorry, column one, row three, row three, column one, and we'll do an execute on that. Okay, so now it looks like nothing happened, right? But that's uh, row three, column one would be this device. And if you look here, you can see now when I push the button, it says SKU 10001 quantity 500. So this is an example of how you can actually leverage these tags within a storage environment to keep track of inventory in that environment. Perhaps you have an, uh, uh, an ERP system or a warehouse management system simply integrating with our tags with a single URL is very, very, very easy. It's a very easy task for an IT person to add these sorts of calls over the web that are very simply constructed based on uh, location and based on what you want uh, stored in that uh, particular location. So, for example, uh, we at Voodoo Robotics have built a product that we call Scookeeper. And that uh, is an inventory management system. Now, of course, you don't need to use our inventory management system to leverage these tags. You could, you could even do it directly from Excel if you wanted to, from your spreadsheets. But uh, the point, and in fact, the uh, macros that go with these, the spreadsheet that I'm showing you here, you know, we're more than happy to share that with you if you want to embed it in your own spreadsheets. I challenge you to think how best to use it. But we also have a product called uh, Scookeeper, which manages inventory in the warehouse. Uh, you're more than welcome to use our uh, system. It's uh, fully integrated with uh, picking modules so that when pickers go to uh, find particular pieces of inventory, the lights automatically light up for them and show them exactly where their inventory is. It addresses them by name, for example. It plays a tune that's custom to their ear. And so a very, very useful device uh, for uh, um, you know, managing not only just the storage of uh, items in your warehouse, but managing inventory of picking. It might even be used for a manufacturing environment, for pick, for kitting, things like that. Very, very useful piece of actual 
IoT technology. You know, uh, a lot of people are talking about all sorts of IoT devices, and you don't really see many. We actually have real IoT devices that you can leverage today. And by the way, this is not an expensive system at all. Each of these tags over here, get this, we rent them monthly for five, $5 per tag. Very, very economical. You scale up, get as many tags as you need, scale down, you can return those tags. It's a very, very easy uh, system to deploy and to pay for. Take the risk out of, uh, you know, investing in, a, in a, uh, a system like this. You don't have to buy any big server. You don't have to pay any big support contracts, any of that stuff. It's a very, very economical uh, model in order to use IT in your operations. So I challenge you to think of how these tags could be useful in your environment. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Again, my name is Trevor Blumino. I'm CEO at Voodoo Robotics. Feel free to contact us here at Voodoo Robotics for a more customized demo. Uh, for more information about the product, uh, we're available at your convenience. Thank you. Audio jam.